Hello, it's great to be with you, and no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry, and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. It's Luton Town facing Burnley. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. The line-up then for the hosts. Well, it looks as though they're lining up fairly defensively with a back five. But I think the wing-backs will have license to get forward at every opportunity. And also watch out for one of the central midfield players going to join the front two. And a look at the starting lineup for Burnley. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And the match is underway. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Running with the ball confidently. And he drills it in. Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class. Fantastic technique. Well, let's look at this again. The cross just couldn't be any better, could it? Whipped into that danger area, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Josh Brownhill. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? Well, he has the measure of his opponent. And cleared behind for what is going to be a corner kick. They take it short. That's a very fine piece of tackling. And there's the feed into the box. That's a routine take. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Rodriguez could be and smacked against the crossbar goal kick here Jordan Clark trying to really get at the opposition here oh, mopping up defensively
Josh Brownhill. I must say, this looks promising. It's a good-looking ball in behind. Oh, but cutting it out in the nick of time. And no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper. Mpanzu. Just not looking confident in possession. He play it in. Cullen. Can he open the door to a potential goal? Straight forward for the keeper. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had much less of the ball. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. Yes, and maybe another break. Oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. And there's the delivery. He got in the way of that cross. And strong play here. And possession given away. He continues his run, but quick thinking defensively. Opportunity here. Blocking it. And a big moment because the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty coming up. Well, no card handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball. So penalty, yes. Yellow card, no. A chance to extend the lead. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Well, as you can see, the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him. It's a strange one in the end. So the ball rolling again, 2-0 the score. Josh Brownhill. And he's won the ball. Teams available. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. And he read it well, intercepting it. So we're at the halfway stage and a little twist here. We discussed earlier the visitors' magnificent form away from home, but they've got work to do. Well, that's as poorly as I've seen them play away from home this season. Usually they're so well organised, but today they've been too open and easy to play against. They'll need to get an early goal in the second half if they're to have any chance here. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. Making sure it didn't get past him. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Jay Rodriguez 
Good visualisation and execution. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. A very timely interception. Well, as those stats tell us, Burnley have controlled much of the possession, but they've shown a real lack of invention today. One or two of their more talented players need to step up now to get them back into this game. Couldn't keep it. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Cork. Oh, it might be. And keeping it out. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. It's a short one. Cullen. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Good use of advantage by the referee. Can they hit on the break? Really nice ball. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Clark. Can he find the right pass? And he takes it on. Well, fantastic reflex action. Good refereeing, waiting for a natural pause before booking him. Substitution for Luton Town. Coming off the pitch, number 18. Here it is now, a substitution. Coming onto the pitch, number 13, Marvellous McCann. Who can they pick out? Cork. Ian Madsen. Josh Brownhill. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business. So making the substitution now. Elijah Adebayo. And he has options available. And it might be. Well, not an effort for his own personal scrapbook. Ten minutes to go then. Running with the ball confidently. Well cleared away but at the expense of a corner. And a substitution in the offing. Let's see about the delivery. And just over the bar. Well, he attacked it so well, but he just couldn't get above it, could he? <laughs> just not looking confident in possession. Your players waiting in the middle. It's opening up for them. 
Well, he's given it away. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Well, putting it wide from there, disappointing. And time for the change now. And there it is, the final whistle. Not exactly what Clarets fans wanted to see in terms of the result. Three points dropped. Well, they were way below their best today, which I'm surprised about. They just look tired, both physically and mentally. They need to make sure this is just a one-off performance.